shots after the siren, um, 2017, first experience at that at AFL level, mm. and you fucking nailed it. Yeah, a lot easier kick. <laughs> <laughs> that first but, one. But, but, mate, you you kicked it against, against Collingwood, Collingwood yeah. at the MCG and you drew the game. Yeah, I think you're we're down by 40 points or something as well. Is that right? Yeah, half time. Do you remember? Do you remember it? Yeah, I remember very clearly. <laughs> this is my biggest highlight of my career. I reckon, yeah, I'm like something pretty fond of. Talk, talk me through it. Um, yeah, I just remember being down by forty odd. Might even be forty two. Half time, maybe. Crows um, trailed by fifty points in this match. There you go, fifty. Yeah. Oh, all right. Um, yeah, I remember it because, like, as a forward and as a young forward, you remember the games where you don't touch a nugget. <laughs> And don't get a kick in the first half or anything like that. And I, I hadn't had a touch in that first half. So I was like, God, I can't need to do something down by 50. Um, and, yeah, to have an impact in that game. I think I had a king two or three maybe in that um, second half and to get that opportunity, um, yeah, it was pretty cool. Do you know how much time was left before you? No, I, I didn't know exactly, but I knew there wasn't much. I was actually, my intention was to mark the footy because I knew we would kick for a draw. I was actually, my intention was mark the footy, sprint off the mark, play on and snap. So I'm lucky that the siren went. And like when you just like, if you watch the reaction of um, the replay, like I run, like mark the ball, hit the ground running, sprint, and the siren goes. I'm like, oh, thank God, because <laughs> I was about to wheel and play on, and that would have been even worse than missing the goal last week after the siren. So, well, what goes through your head when you when the siren goes? You know, kick after the siren. What are you thinking? Well, when I'm at the top of the mark, I'm trying to do the maths again. Oh, fuck, can we win? Can we win? <laughs> <laughs> the draw. Oh, fuck, all right, here we go. Um, and then at the top of your mark, like yeah, a little bit of nerves, but it's also just about your routine. Yes. Um, and for me, all it is is ball drop. Just make sure you focus on that ball drop. Hands comfortable. Everything Didn't, takes care of itself. Anyone say something to you when you're lining off? Any any yeah. words of advice? Like Richie Douglas came over and said to it, like he, he just said, either way, mate, you're, you're the man. Like that was pretty much it. And that's what sat with me a bit. Text as well. So, and I can actually like make the same remarks as well about Cripper and Charlie Kerno a few weeks ago. So, um, different outcome, but. Yeah, that's all right. We didn't lose some in footy. Yeah. It's um, pretty crazy that you have two after yeah. the siren shots. Like yeah. players, like it's what you like as a kid. You, you do it so many times in the backyard. Players will dream of the opportunity to do that. You got to do it twice. Yeah, very fortunate. I'm hoping I get a third time to make up for it. <laughs> get a win. You yeah, had a lost a draw now. Exactly. Win. Yeah. How quickly did um, your brother contact you after <laughs> your recent miss after the siren to tell you that? He's still the only one to win a game after the siren. <laughs> I was I was at dinner with him. Oh, yeah. And now uh, we weren't watching your game. And then his phone started blowing up and he's gone, something's happened to Mitch. Thought you'd been injured. And my first reaction was, because I'd seen the scores earlier on, I said, I bet you he's had a shot after the siren. And then we're pulling up at dinner together. And he yeah, his first reaction was, um, yeah, he was shattered for you, really. Yeah. Like, it's yeah. it's a difficult situation to be in. <laughs> like but it's also something you dream as of as a kid. Yeah, and still do. Like I played footy now for ten years. Oh, I want another opportunity. Like I'm dreaming of yeah the next one. Yeah, but like sometimes they just you don't you don't hit them. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you don't. Um, yeah, it was a weird weird situation. I I got booed in the head by Schultzy trying to take that mark. Yeah, like, and that rattled me a little bit. Yes. Um, and then when I got to the top of my mark and I saw Mason Cox standing there, I was like, far out. Did you come back a few meters because he's yeah I did. Mate, he's intimidating on the mark, man. Like, like, like thinking about it, I was like, oh, it's going to be like a 45 meter kick. And then saw him, I was like, oh, geez, it's probably a 49, 50 now. <laughs> like in my head, I was like, what's worse, being deadline and missing short by three meters or actually trying to put the slipper in and shanking the fuck out of <laughs> or, or, or getting smothered. <laughs> You're smothered. <laughs> that would be that the worst. That actually would have been the worst. Yeah. <laughs> so it could have been worse. could have been worse. could have been a lot worse, yeah. Can you, can you, you know, like say you've had like the highs of kicking it and, and you know, draw, well, drawing the game, I know how you'll feel about that. But, you know, missing the sight, missing the goal, I'm assuming it's a, like a low moment. Like can you, can you move on quickly? Oh, I can move on pretty quick. Yep. Yeah. I don't know, like some players might dwell on it, but like – Bit of a goldfish sort of take that Ted Lasso mindset um, with footy. Um, like, yeah, fucking, I got the opportunity. That's the thing that I sort of look back on. And, um, and credit to Scott Penelbury as well. He came up to me after the game and he sort of said to me, mate, it's, a, it's not about the result, mate. It's about the opportunity you got. You put yourself on the spot. You gave yourself that opportunity to do it. So hmm. um, and he, would, uh, he would know. Yeah, he would know. So he's played a fair bit of footy <laughs> in his time. But, um, 
yeah, like you always want to kick them and you you sort of like I'm I'm fine myself personally how I feel. It's just more I felt like I let let the boys down with that one. So like yes. but I'm pretty quick to move on, probably an hour or two as soon as you see the kids back at home. They don't know you've had a shot after the siren shanked it. So like, yeah, you you move on. That was just a little teaser of our full episode. They're out Wednesdays on YouTube and you can listen to them wherever you get your podcast. Go on, get out of here.